The Moultrie flag, also known as the Liberty flag, was a key flag flown in the American Revolutionary War. History The Liberty flag was designed by commission, in 1775 by Colonel William Moultrie, to prepare for war with Britain. It was flown by his troops in the successful defense of Sullivan's Island against the British fleet in June, 1776. Fighting back stridently during a ten hour bombardment and siege, Moultrie's forces eventually caused the British to withdraw entirely, saving Charleston. During this battle, the flag was actually shot away, but a sergeant William Jasper ran out in the open and hoisted it again, apparently rallying the troops until a new stand could be provided. This dramatic event, along with a pivotal role of the battle itself, earned the flag a place in the hearts of the people of South Carolina, as well as cementing it as a symbol of liberty in the South, and the new nation in general. It therefore became the standard of the South Carolina militia, and when the war officially ended with the liberation of Charleston, on December 14, 1782, it was presented by General Nathaniel Green's Southern Continental and Militia Army, as the first American flag to be displayed in the South. Historians are divided on the identity of the symbol in the top left corner of the flag. Originally thought to be a crescent moon, it may actually be a gadget, which is armor worn around the neck. Heritage, iconic to the state as a symbol of freedom and the revolution, eventually this was used as the foundation for the state's own flag. The fort was renamed Fort Moultrie, and the flag is sometimes referred to as the Fort Moultrie flag. It is occasionally rendered with the word liberty separately in white, along the lower center of the flag. In addition to being the basis for South Carolina's flag, it is the official flag of Moultrie County, Illinois. The chess master Sonia Graf competed under the Liberty flag in 1939 at Buenos Aires for the 7th Women's World Chess Championship. References